Tesla may end up using a wireless charging solution for its robotaxi network, and this would mean the robotaxis would simply drive over a wireless charging pad in order to charge your Tesla or electric vehicles. In an era where technology and innovation drive the automotive industry, Tesla has once again positioned itself at the forefront with the revelation of its latest venture into wireless charging technology for vehicles. The company, known for its groundbreaking electric vehicles and renewable energy solutions, has filed four patents this year that detailed the development of a wireless charging mat system. This technology promises not just convenience, but a revolution in how electric vehicles interact with charging infrastructure, particularly in the context of Tesla's anticipated robotaxi service. This wireless Tesla robotaxi charging mat is a glimpse into the Tesla's future, friends. Now, the essence of Tesla's wireless charging innovation lies in its simplicity for the user. Imagine a future where your Tesla vehicle upon arriving home or at a designed charging spot simply parks over a mat embedded in the ground. The vehicle begins charging automatically without the need for any manual intervention. This concept, while not new in theory, has been challenging to implement effectively due to efficiency, cost, and safety concerns. However, Tesla's latest patents suggest significant advancements in uh, overcoming these hurdles that I just mentioned. Now, since the patents are unveiled, let's make a deep dive into Tesla's technology and see what's there temperature sensors and applications for wireless charging. This patent focuses on enhancing safety and efficiency by incorporating temperature sensors within the charging mat. These sensors could prevent overheating, a common concern with inductive charging, by monitoring the temperature at the charging interface and adjusting power delivery accordingly. So I said four patents, right? That was the first patent. Second patent is short switch to reduce ground leakage in inductive charging. Addressing one of the critical inefficiencies in wireless charging, this patent describes a mechanism to minimize energy loss through ground leakage. By implementing a short switch, Tesla aims to improve the overall efficiency of the charging process, making it a more comparable to traditional wired charging. The third patent is wireless charging circuit topology and related methods of manufacturing. This patent delivers into the design and manufacturing of the charging circuits. It likely involves uh, optimizing the layout of coils and uh, electronic components to maximize power transfer efficiency and reduce the size and cost of the charging pad. And the fourth one is called parameter estimation for wireless charging. Here, Tesla explores algorithms and symptoms for dynamically adjusting the charging parameters based on real-time data. This could include optimizing for different vehicle models, battery states, or environmental conditions, ensuring a tailored charging experience for each vehicle. Now, what are the implications for Tesla Robotaxi service? The timing and nature of these patents hint at Tesla's broader strategy, especially concerning its Robotaxi project. Automotors, um, actually autonomous vehicles, particularly those envisioned for ride-sharing services like Tesla Robotaxi, require not just mobility, but also self-sufficiency in terms of charging, right? Wireless charging mats could be seamlessly integrated into urban environments, parking lots, or even Tesla's own facilities, allowing these vehicles to charge without human intervention. This not only enhances the operational efficiency of Robotaxi fleet, but also significantly reduces the downtime associated with charging, a crucial factor for profitability in autonomous ride-sharing. This will have a marked and environmental impact for Tesla friends. The adoption of wireless charging could accelerate the transition to electric vehicles by addressing one of the common criticisms, the inconvenience of charging, right? For consumers, car buyers, this means less hassle 
and potentially more willingness to adopt electric vehicles, environmentally by encouraging more electric vehicles used through enhanced convenience, Tesla's technology could contribute to reduced carbon emissions aligning with global sustainability goals. Uh, but there are challenges ahead as well. What are they? Despite the promise, Tesla's venture into wireless charging isn't without challenges. The technology needs to prove itself reliability over time uh, and ensure it's cost effective for widespread adoption and navigate through regulatory landscapes that might not yet be fully equipped to handle such innovation. Moreover, the initial setup cost for installing these charging mats could be a barrier, uh, though Tesla's history suggests it might find innovative ways to reduce costs or integrate this technology into existing infrastructure. Friends, Tesla's exploration into wireless charging for its vehicles, particularly tailored for its robotaxi service, marks a significant step toward a future where electric vehicles are not just a mode of transport, but part of a seamless integrated mobility ecosystem. This technology, if successfully implemented, could redefine how we think about electric vehicle charging, making it as effortless as parking. As Tesla continues to push the boundaries of what's possible with electric and autonomous vehicles in the world, watches with anticipation, eager to see how these innovations will shape the future of transportation. While Tesla end up using wireless, uh, actually will Tesla end up using wireless charging pad for its robot taxi fleet? Uh, friends, if you think Tesla will do, let me know in the comments section below. If you think this is too uh, problematic for Tesla, let me know again in the comments section. But I think if this done, is, it would be a revolution. Uh, I think the charging stations, EV chargers, as we know, will go away. Because imagine this, you go and park your Tesla or you go and park your vehicle, even if you have an electric vehicle, there are pads in parking lots. Instead of waiting in line, there are three or four chargers only. You're waiting and see when will that vehicle finish charging and uh, you either do some shopping and come back and then go and do another, uh, other shoppings. But while you're waiting, you can park under your parking space there is a charging mat you come it charges while you go to a restaurant or while you go to uh, to do some shopping uh, hopefully it will be in a way done in such a safely way so people will not be worried for example would you would you be sitting inside a car if wireless charging is charging it are there any unknown risks i stress unknown risks because people will say oh you sit in the car and the electricity electricity charges but what if there are some uh, wireless or uh, other ways that can cause uh, health issues huh but i would prefer at least in the beginning until the technology is nascent and not developed to go and do my shopping or to go to a restaurant or barnes and noble or library or do either other things while my car is charging on a charging mat uh, but who knows, in 30, 40, 50 years, maybe they will have highways built with wireless charging with very low risk electricity. So you're driving on a highway for four hours and this new highway also charges your vehicle. I don't know. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haria from TorqueNews.com. Give us thumbs up if you like this report, found it interesting. And I'll see you soon in the next report.